These three leaves are showing the progression of chlorodecline syndrome. The problem started to emerge around 2003. We'll clamp on just like this. So this will get measures of plant transpiration, electron transport rate. Years of scientific testing revealed the culprit. We discovered it was a change we had made in our water treatment. Since the 90s, bore water was treated to stop the iron in its staining buildings and eating away at irrigation systems. The treatment gradually raised the pH of the soil, stopping trees from taking up essential nutrients. The fix is to actually adjust the pH of our irrigation system. So currently it is too alkaline. And what we are doing is we're actually going to adjust that to be a little bit more acidic. This tree here was so badly affected, it had dropped most of its leaves and had been slated to be cut down. But just six weeks after treatment began, green shoots emerged. Six months later, it was covered in leaves and today, well, it's thriving. We know what it is. We know we can uh, reverse it. Um, how can we do it across a whole landscape was the big challenge. Up at this plant, the water is being microdosed with acid before it's used to irrigate the park. A large scale solution that could be implemented elsewhere. It's applicable to the state domestically and internationally as well. Um, it's certainly a widespread issue. What we do now means that in 50 years' time, with climate change, we'll still have amazing urban forests within our city. So it's really important. A simple solution that could revive millions of urban trees. Pamela Medlin, ABC News. That's right, and